Hi guys, welcome back. It's Mrs. Peterson, that lady who teaches art. And today we are going to take our planning sheet for our paper sculpture and turn it into our actual paper sculpture. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is have your paper back out that you planned on. And I'm gonna come around and look at what color you have in the middle, cause that's gonna be the color you're gonna start with today. And I'm gonna give you a piece of paper that matches that color. So mine is red, I would get a red piece of paper. Once you have that, you're gonna take your pencil and you are going to sketch that shape using um, the paper and you kind of want to fill it up. We don't want to make a super tiny little thing over here in the corner. We want to make it big enough that we're using that paper well, okay? And then you are going to take that shape and you're going to use your scissors to cut it out. Remember when we use scissors, these are a tool, not a toy. You are going to hold the scissors straight out in front of your body. You put the thumb in the top hole, three fingers in the big hole and your pointer finger on the outside. And then I twist the paper, not the scissors. The scissors stay straight out from my body. And I cut right on that line. Twist the paper to make it work for me. Okay. When you are done with that, if your scrap is like mine where it's mostly used up, that'll go in the trash can. And then you're going to look at your next um, color on your planning sheet. So mine is yellow and it's skinny. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna take my little uh, shape that I've already cut out of paper and I'm gonna go over to the piles of paper that I have laid out. I have all six colors that you might need. Remember, you have to stick to your plan. So my plan is red, then yellow, then blue, then yellow. That is the plan I'm sticking to. You need to follow yours because that is what you are being graded on for this project. Um, you're going to see over there, I have three different piles. I have a pile of pieces that have been used a little bit. I have half sheets. And then when we get to the end, you might even need a whole sheet of yellow or whatever color it is you're using. So I would ask you to try to use the scraps up first. So if I have this piece and I think it will fit on there. Ooh, can I make it fit? I think I can make it fit if I twist it just right I can use this and still have red your width around and I'm gonna trace that making sure I can see yellow all the way around and then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut right on on that pencil line and I can throw away my scraps and then I will that I need to put together now we want to stack this up so that it is like um sticking out starts to look like a mountain. It's going to pop out of the ground here. So these are called pop O's and you're going to take out, um, for this size, I might need two or three. You just push them out with your finger and they're like a sticker on both sides. I think I'll use three this time. And you're just going to peel off the paper. Now, some are easier than others to peel off the paper. Some I can get right away and some even I have to keep kind of working around, going around, trying to see if I can find where it will come off. I want to put it on the back of my paper. So I'm going to start with the small paper, the red for mine, and I'm going to make sure the pencil lines are up and then I'm going to flip to the back. That's where my pop O's are going to get pushed on. Okay. So turn that off, take this off. I'm going to spread these out. I don't want them all in one spot over here because I need support. So I want to kind of spread them out on my sculpture or on my, yeah, on my paper that's going to turn into my sculpture to give it support everywhere that it might need it. If you can't get one of the papers peeled off, I want you to try three times. If you still can't get it, I want you to ask a table mate. And if you tried and they tried, then you can ask me to help. Like even that one took me a while. I'm gonna spread those three popos out and then I'm going to flip this over. Um, I wanna make sure I line it up carefully. I don't wanna line it up like that. I wanna make sure that I've lined it up just right so that I can see my yellow all the way around. Then I'm going to go back to my plan, and on my plan, the next thing I see is blue. So I'm going to grab a blue piece of paper. From my pile, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lay this down, and I'm going to trace around the outside. And then I'm going to cut that out. When I get it all cut out, 
Um, if I only have like a scrap that needs to be thrown away left, that can go in the trash. Otherwise, the scraps can be returned to me. And then you are going to stack up your next color. So again, I'm gonna go to the smallest size between these two. My blue is bigger, my yellow is smaller. I'm gonna take three popos. I'm gonna put them on. I'm gonna spread them out for support. If I put them all in one area, then that's not gonna make my sculpture very strong. Or one part may be popped up, but the other part will just go flat. I don't want that either. And remember, you've got to work on them. Some of them are even hard for me. You do it three times. Just like, you, I need you to just wait a second. You're going to do it three times. And then if you can't get it, ask a classmate. And if they can't get it, that's when you can ask me. And then for your fourth layer, you're going to go back to your... Oops, I should have been a little more careful with that. I didn't quite get it in the right spot. Sometimes you can adjust it a little bit so we can see blue all the way around. Then my last is going to be yellow. So I'm gonna go get a piece of yellow and do that as well. All right, you guys, I can't wait to see what you create.